Hey, it's Appaloosa, owner of Light Body Energetics. I am a biofield tuning practitioner as well as vibrational fascia release technique. In essence, we use tuning forks in the human biofield and on the body for many different benefits. But today I'm here to talk about the Schumann Residences and what that has to do with health and the human body. The Schumann Residences have been called the heartbeat of the earth, earth's pulse, it's essentially radio waves that are found in the Earth's ionosphere. And this frequency is around 7.83 Hertz. The Schumann resonance is the electromagnetic resonance of the Earth's atmosphere. It's been shown to increase vitality and our natural ability to heal. I'm gonna use my notes here for a second because a lot of this information is gonna come from a paper called Innovative Technical Implementations of the Schumann Resonances and its Influence on Organisms and Biological Cells. Now you know why I need a paper. <laughs> the authors and the paper will be uh, listed in the description and basically it's going to have research and studies that have been done to kind of understand the correlation between frequency and our human health. Schumann resonances emerge from energy discharges from the earth such as from lightning strikes, solar winds, uh, thunderstorms, and that's between the earth's surface and the ionosphere. Research has come out from scientists who have conducted studies to find that we need these resonances for our health and vitality. What they were finding is the absence of these frequencies were resulting in physiological conflicts and cancerous diseases. There's a professor from NASA, Michael A. Persinger, Persinger uh, and he actually discovered that astronauts who left the ionosphere and re-entered the Earth were suffering from a lot of these physiological uh, conflicts, as he calls it, and he developed little generators that transmitted this frequency that the astronauts could carry with them to protect them from these negative health effects. The Schumann resonances affect the melatonin and serotonin production and balance within the body, so absence of that is going to uh, result in illnesses such as cancer, heart problems, etc. Another interesting fact is that Caltech found that the human brain exhibits magnetic uh, crystals um, called magnetite. So there's other things that can interact with the brain besides these resonances, which is solar activity and geomagnetic activity. Tesla found that the human brain in the alpha state resonates between six and eight hertz. And in fact, the human cavity also resonates between the same frequencies. In fact, all biological systems resonate within these frequencies. So our body and our brain and the earth all correlate and resonate on the same frequency spectrum. So these radio waves, which are the Schumann resonances, have overtones. And so those overtones are uh, harmonics of 7.83, which is what a lot of these tuning forks uh, are, the Schumann resonance harmonic tuning forks. You will find like the seventh position, the eighth position of the Schumann resonance that's 54.81 would be the seventh position, 62.64 would be the eighth position, and the sonic slider would be the twelfth position at 93.96 hertz. So if we know that these frequencies are important for homeostasis, then working with tuning forks in the biofield, in the electromagnetic field of humans, and on the body, resonating with the frequencies of our own body cavity, can only help produce harmony, coherence, and homeostasis. Another interesting thing that will be created from two tuning forks, if you have the Hertz right, is binaural beats, which will entrain your brain into a certain brainwave state. So the two forks that I mentioned, the seventh and eighth position, and these are available on um, Biofield Tuning Store, the 54.81 and the 62.64, the difference between these two is 7.83, the Schumann resonance. If I listen to them on either side of my head, uh, my brain will be entrained to the difference between the two forks. The 7.83, so I will be entrained at 7.83. And that's on the alpha theta cusp. So somewhere between wakefulness and a relaxed state, like just waking up, and theta, which is a dream state or unconscious. 
Binaural beats are used for um, sleep. If, if people have sleep issues, a lot of times if they'll listen to certain music before they go to sleep with binaural beats, that'll help and train their brainwave states and bring that down into a more uh, relaxed state. And I'll leave you with one more study because this one just blew my mind in the, from the paper. And I'm gonna glance at my notes here. So in 2011, Luc Montagnier, probably butchering the name, but please forgive me. Um, his reference has shown that the DNA double helix is like an antenna. DNA sequences communicate with each other via electromagnetic waves. He conducted an experiment, like a DNA water experiment, where he removed all the DNA from water and added the 7.83 hertz into the water. And what happened is that the water created DNA structures. New DNA strands were built. So therefore, as they said, an explicit correlation exists between the Schumann resonances and the existence of life. Well, that's it for me. I'm Appaloosa. I hope to just sort of bridge sometimes what they would call woo-woo sound therapy and scientific studies and that connection to human health. If you want to find out more about me, you can go to lightbodyenergetics.com. If you want to find, find out more about tuning forks, you can go to lightbodyenergetics.com or check the description below and see some of my other videos. Please subscribe if you like my channel. I'll see you next time.